Okay, look, we don't have a whole lot of time, so let's cut right to the chase. Morning routines are counterintuitive. The thing that's always irked me about the concept or the notion around morning routines is that they have to be long or intense. <laughs> it, that's what she said. <laughs> yeah. What? No, it just has to be beneficial. The right habits, the right flow, fast or slow, whatever helps you feel ready for your day. A few simple acts can make the world of a difference in setting yourself up for success. Man, give me that. The key to success for you to own your morning starts the night before. Before I bury my head into the comfy embrace of my sweet soft pillow, I do a couple of things. I lay out my clothes for training and work, I write out my schedule and my to-do list, and if I'm lucky, I get to make sweet love to that curly-haired blonde girl you guys see in all our videos. <laughs> all right. My day starts at 5 a.m. after one alarm sounds. Yes, you heard that correctly. No snooze button, no, oh, I'm still too tired, or mm, it's still too cold out there. This bed is so cozy and warm. Oh, I don't feel too good, bullshit. <laughs> you are responsible for your own happiness and success. Act like it. We set our intentions the night before. We know what is best for us. There's no negotiation. It is time to get the day started. I want everything to feel robotic. I use the restroom. I throw on my gym clothes. I turn my blindness back into vision with my contacts and head downstairs. Look, man, I'm just like you. I'm not thrilled that I have to be up this early. I'd much rather stay in bed with my dogs and wife and cuddle up, but I know it is going to get me one step closer to my goals. Understanding that is enough for me to get moving. I think it's, this one is chocolate chips. Mm. So good. Mm. Mix and match. This is a really good combo. This being only 50 milligrams of caffeine is helpful. Then I'm able to still drink a little bit of caffeine later. Time to go drain. Well, not you guys. <laughs> With my morning sessions, I have a handful of non-negotiables, and the first one is that I only have 75 minutes to train. And I know that that seems short, but with my love of training, I could be in here for two hours, and that is going to set my schedule back by too much, and my whole day is ahead of me. So I have to be very diligent with my timing, and 75 minutes is my cap. If I have training left, and I've hit that 75 minute marker, I'll come back out here sometime during the day, finish up that training volume, is it the best? No, but is it the best for me? Yes, because I have to go on with my schedule. The second non-negotiable is no phone. I don't know about you, but my phone is a massive distraction. I like to scroll Twitter, I like to watch Instagram stories, and sometimes I get sucked into that rabbit hole of TikTok. And in the morning, especially as I'm trying to focus on training and get my day going, there's no need for distractions, and so I have a hard rule of no phone use until I get through my front end of my work. So I won't touch my phone or especially any of the social media platforms until about noon every day, and that is a huge help with my diligency and my discipline in the morning. And the last one is hydration. So we're sleeping for seven to nine hours, no hydration in that time frame. It's very important for our training and the muscular contractions that we're trying to create for that hydration to be there. So getting at least 20 to 30 ounces of water prior to the training session, and then I'm sipping on another 20 to 30 ounces while I'm training, it will help your training a bunch as well as get your day started. I have a lot of clients who struggle with getting in a gallon and just by the end of this training session, I'll have 60 ounces and the gallon's 128 ounces. So before you know 7.30 in the morning, I've already got half a gallon in of my water and it really gets me started on a good note.
All right, digging into my post-workout, I'm just going to have some easy to digest carbs. It's gonna be a bagel with some jelly on it and then a protein shake. So it's super simple. I'm just trying to get something quick in, ticking the boxes of getting some quality protein in as well as getting some carbs in so I can go up and shower. And then once I'm done showering, I can get right into work. There's something truly powerful about upholding the promises that you make to yourself and starting your day off with a handful of wins. Now that you've seen how I set up my morning, it's probably a great time for me to introduce myself. My name is Alex Bush. I have a bachelor's degree in exercise science and I've been an online fitness coach for the greater part of the last decade. I've helped thousands of individuals reach their dream bodies and create an ironclad mindset. For those thousands of success stories, a pivotal piece to that equation was that each of them dominated their mornings. Owning your morning will increase your happiness, reduce your stress, increase your chances of success, and improve your overall well being. It's not about the length or the intensity that induces these benefits, but it's about having a flow of habits that will create momentum to start your day. I'm sure that you are familiar with that well-spoken, intelligent man that always wears those black button-down shirts. You guessed it, Andrew Huberman. I'm waking up these days around 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. I hydrate, I drink water, I weight train for 45 minutes to an hour every other day. I keep my phone out or off of for most workouts. And my goal is to get to the evening time so that I can do the things that I want. He's talked at nauseum about the perfect morning routine and I've tried everything he has encouraged. Admittedly, some of it has worked and has fit into my routine and other parts of it didn't really enhance my day. <gasps> it rather elongated me just getting into my day's work. <gasps> Trial and error and learning about yourself are the only ways you're going to be able to find what's best for you and your morning flow. Now I, like you, do not like to waste my time. And I know that error portion of trial and error makes it feel as though that you are wasting your time. But by having those moments, it allows for you to find what doesn't work for you. That can be just as helpful as finding what does work for you. Maybe you do try something from my video or any other morning routine video for that matter. Add them to your daily routine, give them about two to three weeks of really true consistency and ask yourself these three questions. Did this create momentum for the rest of my day? Did this remove stress and overwhelm from my day? And did this improve my overall health and discipline? If the answer is hell yes to each of those, excellent. You've added a great habit to your daily routine. If it's not, don't sweat it. Adjust the habit and run it back. Tomorrow is another day to get another win. Go get it. When a client is like they're sleeping like shit and then they're like being super self-deprecating. They're like for a child. Do you see these glasses? This is how you're treating yourself. You're sleeping like shit and this is why you're looking at yourself like shit. Do better, sleep better, and you'll be happy.